Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Today, it's gonna be Jadong. It's gonna be JYJ on Eclipse. Top right, it is Jadong. You know him. And in the bottom left, it's JYJ, previous ASL champ. Soul Key won the last one, JYJ won the previous one, so he is an excellent, excellent Terran player. So he's gonna be yellow here today. It's a TVZ on Eclipse, a take on Third World. But it's, this part of the map is accessible to everybody, not just workers. Right, right, okay, you know that. So, two-player map. Terry the Overlord scouting out. What's going on, Terry? That's right, Terry. Nothing but metal, as far as you can see. Is this metal? Or is it like concrete? Or maybe some other material that is indigenous to the Caprulu sector. Anyway, okay, so... Hmm, just a little bit of a proxy here from JYJ, bu building his barracks a little bit away from where it normally would go. Interesting. Right in the Overlord's path. Well, maybe not. Overlord is checking for proxies here, but there's a slight proxy here. We're gonna go hatch first, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, indeed, a Rooney. All right, man. So a hatch first against a proxy Rax, but again, it's not very, very far from JYJ's base. So a Marine getting started here. Steve the SCB scouting out as he is wont to do. Got a drone scouting the other way. Dun, 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 dun. And seeing each other, not messing with each other. And this drone, oh, are we gonna hide? Are we gonna hide? Nope, we're not gonna hide. The drone says, okay, there are Marines in the middle of the map. <laughs> so let's make sure that a bunker is not gonna be constructed here by this SCV, pulling two drones off, attacking. Steve here just making his job very, very hard. And, oh boy. Ah, run, drones, there are marines. Pool not finished yet. I think we need to pull a couple more drones here for these two marines and an SCV. Yes, indeed. All right, man. <laughs> is this overkill for two marines? Yeah, floating back home is that barracks. No more Marines on the way here. Oh, three Marines. I apologize. Three Marines here. Here is the battle. And yes, drones are going to die. Two drones died, but the SCV died. And this Marine just really wants to scout more than anything else. So the drones get back to work. This Marine's going to pop as soon as these Lings pop out. Beautiful. And yeah, going to send one Ling to chase this Marine because he's already taken some damage from the drones. He cannot stand and fight against this Ling or he will die. So his job is to scout. I guess to do his very best at scouting, but also taking some serious hits. Run! Run, Marine Man. Is he gonna make it home? This drone's like, oh no you don't. Oh, maybe you are. Okay, one more hit and he's toast. Ready, set, dead. Exploding a dreadful death. So Ling poke in. Overlord pokes in too to see if there's an expansion or anything, but there's not. We are one 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 in here. We are going barracks into factory into very fast starport from JYJ. Is this gonna be like a two port wraith opening on the follow up of a very kind of mild proxy? What an interesting game one this is for sure. Hydrodyn on the opening, not going for the lair, not going for the mutalisks. Under feet, wow, is he feeling that it's hot? It's it's wraiths. I mean, definitely one wraith on the way anyway. Whether it's going to be a bunch of wraiths, I don't know. But either way, hydras are going to be awesome in this situation. Hydra anti-air is insanely good. The range is good once they have the upgrade. And yeah, with these, uh, this vulture bike pilot. Look at him in his yellow jumpsuit. And he's like, fine. I was commanded to kill this egg. I guess I'll do that. That'll take about 800 years, but we'll get there. Ling's poking in. You're not getting up this ramp. Not with two vultures at the top. I am sorry, friends. Uh, Let's get on out. Oh, yeah. Well, they got a scout off. They saw the wraith. That's all they needed to do. 
I'm surprised. JYJ didn't kind of park his vultures here, block the lings from getting up and kill them. He would have taken more damage on the vultures, but the scout would have not happened. Control tower on the follow-up here. This might be a drop ship. But either way, this Wraith providing the value that a Corsair does to a Protoss and a PVZ in killing an Overlord. Look at this. Got it. I got up by myself, guys. Nobody help me. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> He's so proud. Do you get a kill for that? You do not get a kill for killing eggs. Hilarious. So yeah, so look. Hydra Sunking going to deal with this weird Vulture Wraith opening. Fine. No problems. It is a dropship. And a very quick science facility. Uh... Cannot possibly be a battle cruiser. There's no way. This is like a one. Okay, two base now. Battle cruiser opening. That'd be make no sense at all. Ah, vultures go for the run by, and none of them make it all the way in. They killed a drone. Not ideal. It's still 25 to 16 workers though. The worker count from Jadong not super happy. But yeah, Jadong's getting a lair. Jadong's like, well, we probably don't have any tanks. If that's what we're looking at here. Okay, it's, but seriously, science vessel for what? You can't make a science vessel and then be like, that's all I need. A science, or sorry, science facility. There we go, science vessel on the way. And might end up researching radiate, possibly. What, I guess for detection purposes? I guess, he doesn't have uh, an engineering bay. He doesn't have an academy for comsat. All right, well, Hydraling trying to bust on in here. A bunch of SCVs are dying. They're trying to repair this bunker as well as they can. Siege tank firing away here too. Dude, the SCV count just got knocked down to 20, but the bunker lives. So minor victory, I guess. Oh, what is the button for bring everything back? I don't even know what that is. All right, uh, but no third base. Macro hutch and a spire getting started from Jade Hong on the follow up. I don't know. Siege mode is done for the tanks now, which is awesome sauce. There's a science vessel popping out. Science facility floating. So I guess we're not going to do anything with that for the time being. Oh, hang on. Come on. You moved it to make an add-on. I believe in you. Make a tech lab. Make a covert ops. Go for nukes. That would be so rad. JYJ, this is an RJB replay. Just gonna point that out because, well, it's an RJB replay, so it's good. Check them out. YouTube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. Another science vessel on the way. Third base is now on the way at about seven minutes. Almost eight minutes for Jadong, which is like, I. I, I, I. But yeah, this indicates a bunch of mutas coming out. Uh, what do we have to do with a ton of mutas? Well, no turrets. Um, we got science vessels, but no irradiate, so that seems problematic. An academy coming in, so there's no medics, no range upgrade, no stim for the marines. And the mutas are coming, five of them getting started now. With the potential to make probably a couple more here. With the available larva, yep, seven, good. Seven mutas against what? Two science vessels with no irradiate researched. I'm saying that, and I'm not convinced. No. I would have seen it come... Okay, here it is. Just getting started now. I was going to say, I would have seen it come through. Would have seen that come through for sure. But third barracks up. Tanks. Just no marine production at all. What is this, JYJ? Why do you make another Rax? You're not producing marines. Not one here, not one here, not one here. You're getting some turrets up, which is great. How did he... How did he sniff... I guess he's like... The fact that no more Hydras showed up indicated that there's probably going to be a Mutalisk follow-up, so it's a great read. Honestly. Alright, killed an SCV, killed maybe another SCV, two turrets, three turrets up at this natural. The poking is real, Stim getting researched now, but the third base is up, this third gas is kind of key, so immediately getting saturated by Jadon. Got a Queen's Nest coming in. Yo, this is crazy. Okay, so now marine uh, medic production is coming in in earnest. He's like, yeah, all right. There's mutas out. We need some marines for that. There are only two turrets here inside the main base, but a radiate is done. Are they going to try to die? I'd try to dive into the main. Maybe take this area. Ow. 
Science Vessel sniped, but an Irradiate gets off. Two Irradiates get off. Ah, oh, that hurts. That was genius. Only two Mutas remain from the original seven. Ooh, what a great Irradiate that was from JJ, uh, JYJ. That was fantastic. I want to call him JJ for a minute, like JJ Abrams or something. Hive coming in at 10 minutes from Jadong. This is a very non-standard game, man. What is going on? We get Wraiths. We get Science Vessel rushing before turrets. We get a Hydra push into Mutalisks. I mean, this is... This is something, man. I like it. Hit the like button to yourself if you like this one. This has been... Something fun, and it's only going to get more fun, I think, as time goes on here. Firebats being added into the mix. He knows there's lings out. Uh, but, yo, six lurkers coming up. That's what the siege tanks are for. Marines, if they can get the lurkers before they burrow really good. Yeah, science facility flying out here, trying to see what's what. What is up? Another scan. And he does catch the lurkers on that scan. Did he irradiate? What did he irradiate there? Thought I heard one go off. All right, I'm hallucinating maybe. Auditory hallucinations. Two lurkers irradiated there. <laughs> blop, blop. Okay, Lurkers burrowing, Lings and Mutas here, ready to go. Siege tank, sieged up here. And he's swarming for it. He's coming in from all angles. Firebat fighting. Lurker spines on the tank. Science vessels trying to hit. Irradiates getting tossed down. I don't know if this was enough. Uh, maybe it was enough Zerg to break this position. A lot of Zerg blood was spilled. A lot of Marine blood was spilled too there. More lurkers. These overlords ah, just kind of sacrificing themselves. Not a supply block. 92 available supply from Gato and only 57 on the map here. But third base is rolling. This is a crazy close game right now. Zerg player can't be very happy. He's trying to get Adrenal. He's trying to get Dark Swarm up. Okay. These Lings, if they had Adrenal, maybe could have gotten that tank. Probably not, though. Consumes on the way. You're on a bit of a timer here, JYJ. I'm sure you know that. Once Dark Swarm is up, this entire game shifts in how it works here. Yeah, man, I'm not sure Scourge are getting the hits they want right now. I think they've killed one science vessel. Maybe gotten a hit on a couple more of them, but not taking them down. Look at this Marine spazzing out a little bit. Jadong holding on against this two base aggression. Siege tanks, medics, fire bats, marines, and science vessels. Another scan. See what we're dealing with. Hydras and lurkers for the most part. Let's irradiate a lurker. He was almost dead. I don't know if that was the best use. This guy's almost dead too. All right, but I guess it means a guaranteed kill, right? Like a fast kill, so I suppose that's worth it. Hmm. But at the same time, like, an irradiate on a fully healthy lurker does kill it. So, I don't know. Pick the fully healthy one, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Ah, Scourge take a science vessel down. No! Another connection. Jadong holding on by the skin of his teeth here. But Dark Swarm is in existence now. That's exactly what Jadong was waiting for. What he was rushing towards in order to stay alive here. This is bananas. This game is so, so crazy good. All right, JYJ, putting the pressure up. That's what he's known for is the pressure. He's up 106 to 65 supply. I don't know. Numbers tell us Jadong should not win this, but at the same time, Dark Swarm exists. If there was no Dark Swarm, then I would say JYJ wins this easily. But Dark Swarm against all these Marines, going to do pretty well. Man, Sea Chinks getting hits off on Lurkers is so key. I mean, it's just so, so, so key here. Scourge trying to find... Oh, look at that angle to catch that Science Vessel right between two groups of Terran units. But guess what? There's a ton of Marines here. Coming up this ramp with Dark Swarm available. Is... Yeah, that's a get out of my neighborhood Dark Swarm. 
you're not welcome here, Dark Swarm. Second Dark Swarm is especially a, you know, get out of here, middle finger extended to all Terran units, you're not allowed. So, I mean, I don't know, Daedong doesn't have a fourth base. He'd be kind of dumb to take a fourth base here, considering he knows this is a two-base attack from Jadong. He's got double the supply, basically. Jadong does scourge. Oh, my gosh, getting another science vessel. If Jadong can win this, it's going to be Dark Swarm, and it's going to be connections on science vessels with scourge. Those are the two things that are going to work the best here. Plague is on the way. Jadong really doing his best. I don't know about Dark Swarm, maybe? Okay, a little bit late on the Dark Swarm, but for zoning purposes, it does shove JYJ back. Again, 45 to 43 workers. More drones, more hydras, more scourge, more lurkers being produced here. That siege tank died in, shot inside that Dark Swarm and killed a Zergling. Splash damage, man. It's good. What isn't protected by sunkens or by storm or swarm? Sunkens or not? My goodness, I know how to talk. I could speak English. Marines are like, is there a base here? No. All right, fine. Skirt. Look at that skirt's pull back there. That was good. Is that bait. Where's this drone trying to go? <laughs> to his death. That's where he's trying to go. The pressure. JYJ is like, nah. But look at this. Slowly trying to climb back up. Can never really get too far beyond times just 50% of the overall force number of JYJ. Jadong is struggling right now. He's got, okay, he's taking a third base. If Jadong can't survive this. Then it's gonna be a three base to a three base and that's gonna be his death. Even if this push doesn't necessarily win, just keeping Jadong contained to three bases while the third base is up from Jadong, or from JYJ is a big deal. Look at all these J names. I got this, don't worry. I'm all sorts of on top of it. I don't know about this. So many science vessels have died, but look how many remain. Six of them are here. They're all pretty healthy. Jadong's just contained. Jadong staying alive. Right? Staying alive, but that doesn't do him any good. If he can't take down this third base or get a fourth base of his own. Okay, scans in. Bunch of Hydras. He's like, no lurkers? All right. Well, he sees that guy consuming fails before Dark Swarm or a plague can get tossed down. Dark Swarm gets plagued anyway. Sniping on a siege tank there. Another Dark Swarm. Good Dark Swarm there. And some of these Marines are being protected by it. They're bad. Bit oh, my gosh. Inside the Dark Swarm. This is why I say Dark Swarm is not the best spell in the game. Psionic Storm is, because sometimes Dark Swarm is useless. Mostly against uh, Storm, for example, Archons, Zealots, and the like. All right, more plagues going down. This game is absolutely bonkers. Uh, Dark Swarm at the top of the ramp would be nice anytime a defiler can pop out of this Nidus. And maybe Dark Swarm at the top of this ramp. Jadong, where you been, buddy? Bunch of Hydras pop out, which against these plague units is pretty much as good. Dude, but seriously, three base to three base is not working. Jadong is valiantly trying to stay alive here. Good snipe on that science vessel. High ground, Hydralisk staying alive because of the mischance from high ground. No, I don't know about going home. I don't know about going home. Like, but even then, ooh, good snipe on science vessels. That Hydra's got like four science vessel kills after the plagues. Jadon casually just moving into the current meta of Hydra Ling Defiler. Not really adding any more Lurkers into play here, getting some upgrades for his Hydras beyond what he's got, which is currently two armor, one attack. The Marines are dead. The Marines are at three attack, one armor. Making another science facility as I guess the first one died. 
Uh, I mean, it must have. He wouldn't be building another one. There's no reason to. More scanning. Like, is there a base here yet? No. Adrenal on these lings is done. They've got no attack on our upgrades, but plus two carapace and adrenal's a nice attack upgrade, kind of, right? It is. Uh oh. And this is getting closer all the time. 130 to 80. Jadong! Oh my gosh, sick leg. Is Jadong gonna win this? Some magically how? He's been winning the last couple minutes just by staying within spitting distance and decreasing the gap between JYJ and himself. Oh, he's trying to save this fourth base. Uh, that's not happening. Jadong not getting a fourth base there. Maybe here? Maybe here? But the longer this goes on... Oh, this is crazy. What a crazy ZVT this is. That's why I like this matchup, man. That's why you guys like this matchup. ZVT. Oh my gosh, Killer Plague. Absolutely just plaguicious, plagalicious plague here. Every one of these science vessels catches a plague. Some of them have already been hurt. Uh, attack? He's like, sometimes the mutas don't attack. Ugh. Okay, attack. Oh, try to get a drone down there. No, GG! No drone alive! Game one of our sneaky twofer ends with a win from JYJ against Jadong. Yo. Yo. <laughs> what an absolutely bananas game one of our sneaky two for that one was. Yeah. So it just came down to the contain on three bases. It was what it was, right? JYJ able to hold against the Hydroling attack at his front door. The bunker stays alive. Some SCVs die, but he's able to deal with that. And then he's just able to get a third base of his own. He's able to keep Jadong on three bases. He's able to pressure him, dodging dark swarms, eating some plagues, but handling it, right? Handling it as well as he can. And then just no fourth base is allowed for the Zerg today. None. That's all you gotta do. Actually, this is a fourth base. I'm an idiot. Third base here, fourth base here. So this is a four basing JYJ, I apologize. My brain's just like, it's a base on the left side. These are the same, right? No, this fourth base was huge. So GG, man. I mean, that was, JYJ is just known for his insane ability to pressure your face until you die, and that's what he did. That's what he did here. So, oof. GG, absolutely disgustingly good GG there. Let's go ahead and check out this final score, and then we'll move on to game number two of our sneaky two. Far JYJ is up, man. He earned that. 124,000, 120,000 points. JYJ up, got outproduced by the Zerg player, but killed the Zerg player more than he got outproduced. Structures raised, three to one in favor of JYJ. And yes, Jadong did outspend JYJ, but only by fewer than 2,000 points in 21 minutes, and it's just not gonna do. You gotta have 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 maybe. Maybe it's a little bit too high, but you know what I mean. 2,000 is not enough in 21 minutes and 20 seconds. So, game one in the books. Let's go to game number two. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Game two of our sneaky two for back on Eclipse. Same spawn locations, different color. Top right, it's a white Zerg. It's Jadong, and the bottom left, purple Terran. Again, it is JYJ. All right, man, that was quite a match. Started with a kind of proxy. Force Jadong to pull drones, get some drone killed, lose some mining time, and then follow up with a Wraith, kill an Overlord, and then a science facility into science vessels. Just and siege mode and Marines inside the bunker and holding off a, a Hydralisk attack. And wow, that was just the first five minutes, right? And then from there, just a masterful job of containing Jadong and expanding yourself and winning. Wow. Are we going to do it again here? Nope. Just walling off. That is natural. Same as always. Okay. <laughs> Terror the Overlord. Scouting out. We've got merch at falconpaladin.store featuring Terror the Overlord and uh, Steve the SCB, if you're interested. Boom, boom, boom. And yeah, I mean, we're looking at another hatch first play here from Jadong. Nothing too crazy from him, that's for sure. 
He's like, I know it's a two-player map. I know it's riskier to go for a hatch first against a Terran on a two-player map, but by golly, I want it. I want it now, and he goes for the hatch first at about 12 supply. Back home, yeah, definitely walling off here. Barracks inside, maybe worried about a pool first after game one. Maybe worried about some aggression. Having a wall is going to really help with that, but Jadong says, nah, man. Nah, fam. We are instead going pool into extractor. Overlord scouting, trying to avoid potential early marines that might come across the map. He doesn't want to get shot in the face until he's dead, do you, Terry? You don't want that. And one racks into an expansion. So this is JYJ not wasting any time getting a second base up. He feels good about it, recognizing the timing on that pool, the timing on that gas, and the timing on the hatch. He says, okay, this is fine. We can expand. Get a couple marines. Oh, hard wall against this drone. Ooh, the drone may be glitching through. No, a marine pops out and says, no. Get out of here. Get out of here, drone. You're not getting in for the scout, but I'm pretty sure he saw this. I think he saw this command center. He got deep enough into the base to see that. Either way, I don't... Uh, you know what? Uh, nah. Nah, nah, nah. I think he saw it. I think he knows. He knows. Couple lings out, not four this time, just a couple. Steve running for his life, holding minerals in his hands desperately. Oh gosh, juke him. Juke him. Oh, he can't make it to safety. This way's not safety anyway. He knows what, he, there you go. He knows what fate awaits him and he is brave. He's not running from it. Rest in peace, Steve. All right, what are we doing back in Terranville? Making an academy this time? Yes, he did skip academy last time. The academy was way late, but it worked out for him. All right, so Lair and into Spire. So Jadong just doing the standard old two base. Muta opening. We'll see when he gets a second gas. We'll see if he gets a macro hatch. We'll see how many mutas he wants to commit to here in the opening stages on Eclipse for game number two of our Saniki 2 for engineering bays a lot earlier too than it was in game one. Plus one attack is coming in a lot faster as a result. And we know. What the, what the Ling Flood is this? Dude is going for some kind of Ling Muta Flood here. I don't, why is he making the Lings this early though? Uh, you can't do it with Mutas if your Spire's not done. What is this? This is way too many Muta or Lings to be like, I'm just checking to see when this is happening. Dude, he's hiding them, right? He's like, are there any Lings out here? Yes. Oh, look at him hide. It's like, I only got like six slings out here. Don't mind me. Yep. Only six slings. There's another six up here. There's more coming. Dude, you cannot bust this. I don't believe. All right, he's trying though. Is he bringing everybody? Nope, he's just like, I just have like six slings. That's all I got. Just, uh, just, just nope. Just expect six circlings. That's all. Look at me and my six slings. Wee! See, he's, he's trying to be very obvious that he has six slings here. So four mutas on the way. Five with the plus one flyer attack. He doesn't have a macro hat for extra larva, so like six is the max he can make anyway. And there's a scan. He sees the spire, he sees the eggs, he says, okay, those are mutas. And there we go, six on the way. Range for the marines coming in. This is gonna be a pretty intense Ling Muta attempt at a bust at the front here, isn't it? It's gonna be a massive attempt here. It might work, honestly. If there's only one turret at the front, and only five Marines here. This could go pretty poorly for JYJ. This is a very concerted attempt to kill him by Jadong. And I mean, no reason, here we go. Oh, he lifted the barracks, it's go time. He lifted the barracks, it's go time. What are you waiting for? I guess he's waiting for the Marines. Ah, to reposition. Ah, is there? I don't know. I can't tell. There's stuff under the barracks that is floating. Turrets getting some free hits off on these mutas. They're all dying. But the lings have killed all of the marines. 
The medics are in trouble. SCVs are trying to hold the natural base. It's a total ghost town right now. From JYJ, SCVs holding the ramp. What a ghost soup ramp block from JYJ amid all of the chaos. Turrets getting sniped down. Supply depots getting killed here. Like, can I bust up this ramp? No, that's the whole point of the SCV block with the Marines behind it. They're going to try to kill another supply depot. Maybe supply block JYJ, but no, that's not going to do it. Comsat station goes down, but you can lift your command center. And I think JYJ is okay, right? He's producing off of four racks. He's up 23 to 15 workers. Yeah, that's kind of oversaturated at your main base. And your natural base is a ghost town right now. But you got to stay alive, man. You got to do it. J Y J. Another scan. It's like, is there a hive, a queen's nest? Any attempt you're trying to tech up here? No. Any sign you're trying to tech up here? Yeah, that command center has to flee. That's okay. No shame in it. Hatcheries and nexuses both really wish they could flee in situations like this instead of just dying at the natural base. It's a major benefit the Terrans have. Ling Muta, Ling Muta, Ling Muta. That plus one fire attack is not done yet. I mean, he started that thing so long ago, but it takes so long. We'll see. We'll see if that actually comes into play here or not. Mutas, all six of them. Just trying to find what... God, immediately losing that really terribly injured Marine. Oh, or Mutalisk. All right, Muta's a plus one fire attack now. But uh, they should probably just get out of here. I don't like this position for them at all. Maybe they, ooh, another Muta dies. Lings try to bust in and take down a turret. They got a turret that wasn't even complete yet. That's nice. The Mutas get out of there. Four Mutas not really doing much. Yeah, I think JYJ just sort of held on. And he's fine, man. His second base is rolling. Jadong trying to get a third base at 840, but I mean, he's competing with a two-basing Terran, and he's only two-basing, and he's going to be two-basing for a minute. Yeah, man, the attempt to kill JYJ, not good enough. Another turret down, but... Mutas are taking damage. They are not units that can sit back and do damage for free, friends. They take hits for everything they do, in this matchup especially. Well, maybe not here. That's a nice position. Okay, turret down. SCV. Oh, bunker just finishes. That sucks. He almost prevented the construction of that bunker. Yuda's playing the game. 11 of them just getting down to 10. Four more on the way. Working on a flyer carapace upgrade. Marines have plus one. They're working on infantry armor plus one. And it's time to sunken this thing up. Uh, your third base might just be forfeit, though. This is tough. Mutas go back in. Guess who's rebuilt his turrets like a good Terran needs to? JYJ has, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Any sign of any further tech here? Nope, no factory, no starport. He's just like, you don't have enough to stop this, I guess? Yeah, no. Zero sunkens at the front. The Mutas have to stand and fight, which they don't want to do. But maybe if you all come in at the same time from different angles, I guess it might kind of work. And it does. All right, man. Jadon. Wipes that army out, but another one shows up. The Mutas are like, we killed your friends. We can kill you too. Nice medic snipe. Ugh. Losing a Muta there. Losing another Muta there. Three more Mutas on the way. The third base exists. This probably wouldn't have been too different if JYJ had gone after the third base of Jadong instead of going into the natural. Alright, so Jadong wipes out the marine medic army that had come across the map and threatened his natural without really losing... No, no drones died, right? Some mutas definitely died. Not ideal, but 53 to 49 total supply in favor of the Terran is not as bad as it was for most of the last game. So, Jadong holding on. This is an incredible matchup. These two guys, ASL champ, recent ASL champ, J or Jadong, not a recent ASL champ, but best Zerg player, best resume overall in the history of StarCraft. Just long-term, intense amounts of success. Major championships all over the place. 
Hydrodent on the way. That Flyer Carapace upgrade would be nice to have, but Jadong doesn't want to wait for it. I would. I mean, you've got a minute before these Marines really start threatening you. I would. There it is. Carapace plus one has finished. Which is, again, very good against things that hit you quickly in succession, like marine attacks. They hit you for small amounts quickly. That's how they do their damage. And every one of those attacks is calculated and reduced by this armor. Matters. Matters a lot. The good news for Jadong is that he's been a base up on JYJ now for a couple minutes, which is more than he had in game one altogether, right? Oh, dude, this little marine attack. It's a little tiny marine attack, but the damage output on these guys. Lings and Muta's trying to deal with this, but this is a problem, dude. Drone down, drone down, drone down, drone down. JYJ just figuring out. Ah, little inefficiencies, and that's it. That's a GG. Jadong taps out, and JYJ wins our sneaky twofer. 2-0. Two, Second game in 12 minutes. Yeah. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Incredible, amazing sneaky twofer there from JYJ. I just thought, my goodness, I did... I just, I totally thought this was going to be JYJ hanging on, getting up to Dark Swarm, getting up to Plague, and being in a better position than he was in the last game when he did that. But no, I think this changed everything. JYJ just splitting off a couple of his dudes right over here, killing every drone at this third base, and then Muta's alone, even with 1-1, one, one, are not going to be enough to handle this many 1-1 one, one stimmed range marines with medic support. He tried to get some lings in here to assist. He just never got into lurkers. His hydrodent had finished, but I don't think Jadong ever even started lurker aspect. And no lurkers to handle this many marines. No tanks this time. JYJ reading that, okay, there are... There's no lurkers out. There's no hydras out. What we're going to do here is just marine this thing. If he wants to go muta on us... We'll make trades. We'll sneak up to his third base while pressuring him at the front. We'll get that win. And he did. Crazy good. JYJ, you absolute monster. 54,000 points to 45,000 points. A bit of a shorter game, too, here. But jam-packed, nevertheless. Outproducing Jadong. Uh, getting out killed by Jadong, but only by two total units. And that means a lot of lings died, in fairness. So that kind of inflates that number. Eight buildings to one raise. Jadong did kill a bunch of buildings. JYJ only killed one creep. I think that's what that was. And then uh, and an outspend attempt by about 1,000 in 12 minutes. So this could have been okay, is the thing. It's just that third base where every one of those drones died. I think if it wasn't for that, then maybe Jadong could have held on. But he lost it. And that was that, man. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. That was awesome. That was really, really good. Like, what a just incredibly fantastic ZVT 2v2 there, or two for there, not a 2v2, but a two for game. Two player map, no need to scout. Third bases are a little bit harder to take on this map, right? But yeah, I mean, third base, you got a little ramp you have to deal with and maybe a back door. That's just tough. So GG, end of the day there, man. Jadon gets the win. He deserved it. He is a monster. He won an ASL for a reason, and this is why. So that is going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.